Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo master run of this week's featured nightfall, which is the Glassway. I'm doing it on Void Walker Warlock. Uh, these are the fragments, abilities, and aspects that I'm using. I'm using Cataclysm Super, which is the we we normally call it Slover. Uh, and there's all the fragments and aspects I'm using. I'm using the Succession Sniper for Barrier, Lemon Arc for Overload, and Commemoration for everything else. Uh, all fragments, uh, mods, everything else that I'm using, you can see here. I've got it all catalogued. I'll go back through it so you can actually see it all like that. So, I've done this on stream. Surprise, surprise. I do most of my Nightfall runs now live. So, if you want to check that out, you can go over the the stream channel, which is live on Destiny. It's a suggested channel at the bottom of this channel. Come over, say hi, show, show some support. Always appreciated. I kind of done this as kind of an afterthought because I wasn't sure I was going to do a uh, master in week one. I normally don't. I normally just spend my time leveling and enjoying everything that the season has to offer. But I decided we'll give it a go. We will uh, We'll see what the, the seasonal mods and weapons, we'll see how good they are in, in, in here. And I, I didn't actually use any of the mods, really. Uh, so... Obviously, Anti-Barrier Sniper was a mod I used, but Lemon Arc has Intrinsic Overload. I still put an Overload mod on because I still forgot. And I decided, a bit of a throwback, we'd use uh, Controverse Holds, uh, which actually worked an absolute treat. So the great thing about Lemon Arc is Lemon Arc, when uh, utilized correctly from the correct area, will take down the Overloads practically on its own. Now, the commemoration and the succession, the sniper and the machine gun that I'm using, they are from Deepstone Crypt. You can use other snipers. You can use other grenade, uh, uh, machine guns. As long as the machine gun's void, you should be fine. As you can see, I'm just kind of... So the point of this is, you're just, you're just dealing with snipers. You're dealing with some shanks. Uh, there's an overload at the start, which you see me take out now. In order to get the best out of Lemonok, what you're looking to do is to get the perfect draw. So you want to pull the bow back or charge the bow to the correct point to get that. An explosion causes a void detonation which damages anything around it. Super helpful when you're taking down an overload because the detonation affects the target as well as uh, all the other ads around. So once you've cleared this area, we're going to come... You get to this area. This area is slightly, you know, there is a, it's not a great deal of strategy. You want to deal with the, the overload up here. Do not jump down. Because if you jump down, you will activate the second champion, which is a barrier. So you take the overload from up here. I tried to get a grenade over to deal with as many of the adds as possible. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to try and clear as many of these adds so that the barrier can't shield tons of adds. I just missed out on that last one. And then what I'm going to do is, same thing again, I'm going to put a grenade down, the barrier will jump away. And then I'm going to break them, and then once I break them, I, I kind of do this a lot with other with, with, with adds, as I try and take all the adds that I can. Now you'll see there, the first time I broke the barrier shield with one hit, it's because I got a crit. If you get a crit with a sniper, you're always going to do it in one... one uh, one shot, but if you get a body, it's two. So, when we get to this area, you're going to have a, an over... It's, it's almost the same as the last area. If you push up too far, then you get your barrier. But because there's a boss in this area, it kind of stops you from pushing up too far. There is an overload here, and again, you know, I actually thought I'd hit that overload there, but it seemed like he teleported at the ideal time. Don't judge me on the void grenade. It's been ages since I've been on Boy Walker. Uh, throwing uphill, you do have to get your trajectory right. And as you can see there, the commemoration just sorts sorts out the overload. Really, really nicely. I didn't have overload machine gun on, so that is just what the overload done. Now, I do have a super. Uh, but what I'm going to do, and you can do this, once you activate the adds, you can come back down here and take some of the snipers. And you had left a brick of heavy, so you see there. And just sometimes a, another sniper comes along here, but he didn't this time. 
So I'm going to go back up and deal with deal with the boss. And then once I've dealt with the boss, hopefully I'll have my grenade back. I have got double bomber on, so whenever I put my rift down, I get... There's the other sniper I was looking for. Uh, once I put my rift down, I will get a whole heap of uh, uh, grenade energy. Now, when you're throwing your Nova at any of these bosses, the ones with the big heavy duty shotguns, be very wary because their shotgun can shoot your super and your grenade. So, when I push up here, as soon as I hear the noise to let me know the ads are coming in, I charge a grenade and throw it over at the stairs. And as you can see on the screen, it takes an absolute ton of the ads. Unfortunately, it never took all the ads. And it left me up with, with some vandals up. Now, just so that you guys are aware, sometimes that barrier will... Uh, see there, the ads just... As soon as I broke broke that barrier shield the ads were on me and now they are back under his protection but unfortunately for him or then should I say we managed to break the barrier pretty quickly and then we can clear out any of the ads and that just leaves that just leaves the barrier now I can see I've got a brick there so what I was saying is the barrier can come from both sides so where the barrier came from this time is the, the staircase we're just running over to now. He can spawn over to the left staircase, back over there. So he doesn't always spawn from the same place. He can come from both. So if he hadn't have come from the right staircase where we threw a grenade, it probably would have took all the ads and we'd have been left with just us, maybe one or two Dreg and the boss, uh, the champion. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push forward. It's the same again. It's exactly the same in, in nearly every area. You're going to have an overload and you're going to have a barrier. If you push too far up, which I, I think I do here accidentally. If you push too far up, you will activate uh, you will activate the, the barrier, which is, seems to be the same in, in both these areas. Uh, it's It's... it's you know, it's overload first, then barrier. So what I'm going to do, I know that I'm running the risk. I'm just trying to find out where all the ads are. Just you, know, you want to you want to prioritize uh, the the dangerous ads. Now the reason I stayed here, even though I'm being sniped, is because I want this boss out the way, and because of the barrier, the barrier will shield the boss. So I kind of just stayed just to try and get rid of him. You have to prioritize the, the most dangerous ads. And that the strategy is to prioritize the most dangerous ads. You might not think it because there's barriers and there's overloads and there's but the snipers are really they're they're a nightmare because they can do their business from that far away that you need precision shots to kill them. And if a few of them hit you at the same time, you know, it's it's game over. Now I knew because the because the you can see that energy shield hasn't went down. I knew that there were more ads up. I just didn't expect this. I didn't expect that there were like five or six ads. I thought there was maybe just one. So you've got to be careful. Uh, chafe is on, or chaff, whichever way you want to say it. Uh, so no radar, which kind of adds a little bit of spice to this run. So. That's kind of really, I suppose you could say that the condensed area is done. Now we've just got to make it through this kind of open, this, this section, next section coming up always reminds me of the Pyramidium. Uh, it's, it's very aesthetically similar to the Pyramidium. So we've got to get past the Pyramidium part and then we'll, you know, we've got a thing one two overloads here two overloads here sometimes you get that's why i was aiming straight away there sometimes you get the dreg sometimes you don't we never got them this run which is cool but normally if you've got the dreg when you come around this corner there'll be two dreg right here so this time we just got the shanks uh shanks for that yes i know it's a dad joke but what were you going to do i'm a dad right now, when you get over here, both incarnations, whether you get the dregs or whether you get the, the vandal, the, the, just the shanks, 
you'll always get those vandals. And then you'll get an overload here. So I was getting hit, so I knew straight away that there was an ad behind me. And what I'm doing, you can see I'm just strafing so I can keep the damage. The way overloads work, Lemon Arc makes it easy because of that AoE effect, but you get a point where after you've stunned the overload and you've done some damage, the overload, can you see the back of his head kind of glowing? That means you can't stop him again. Not right now. But at some point during that, that point part, if you're DPSing him, uh, you'll, you'll hit him and he'll kind of like bend over a bit. Like he's being punched in the gut slightly. Uh, that means he won't regenerate his health. So you want to kind of keep consistent damage on him. So we've got a couple of ads here. We've got an overload as well. But you also, that's why I keep looking up there. You're also going to get two sniper vandals up there. There we go. So what I'm doing, I'm strafing because you've seen there that overload kind of hunched down while he, while the back of his, his tendrils, that's what I'm calling them, his tendrils will let up. Uh, when his tendrils are lit up, it's the same with Unstoppables, when the tendrils are lit up, the kind of uh, hair at the back of their neck, when that's bright, when it's glowing, you can't stun them. So it's, you can still do damage, but they can't be stopped or overloaded. But it's during that phase with overloads that you can you kind of give them another stun. It doesn't allow you to do proper damage, but it stops them regenerating their health. During this section here, if you're doing it solo, you won't get the, the kind of fallen saber shanks, the big shanks, and you won't get the sniper shanks. If you're doing it solo, all you get is just the normal shanks and the explorer shanks. So as long as you stay aware of which side is coming next, you don't even have to leave the plate. Uh, as you can see there, I wasn't staying aware. But, I mean... If you've got yourself set up right, you should be, you know, you're not going to be really kind of squishy, you know. Now, I'll address this now while we're doing the plate, because it just works once you take the left-hand side out, and you take the right, then left, then right. I didn't do arc here for two reasons. One, it's void burn. You know, acute void burn is on, I take 50% additional, and I do 25% more. But the other reason why I never done arc, and I will do eventually. I'll do an arc run. I've already kind of earmarked what night, what nightfalls will be best for for arc. Uh, as I don't think arc 3.0, I I feel like it's hit differently. I feel like it's a niche kind of subclass, very good for crucible, very good you know melee move, melee move. Yes, there are chained lightning effects that will be very good. Uh, in some content just think remember when you first used void you went on a void titan and how how much utility there was with an exotic right the super was good you could use the super in conjunction with the neutral game and you know you could you could use helm of uh, the helm of innermost light or the chest of innermost light but i think it's the, oh, is it the chest the heart of innermost light that's what it's called you could use that uh, Hunter uh, really changed the way that the subclass behaved and felt. Arc, you just punch stuff and chain a bit of lightning. It's I feel like it's going to struggle to do really well in in-game content when it's difficult. Whereas Void enhanced your, you know, when you were doing high-level content. Uh, Arc and Solar enhanced that. I don't think, uh, sorry, Solar and Void enhanced your ability to get through stuff like that. Yes, Seasonal Mod, the last season. I think I've said this before on content. There are a bunch of people who have a Solo Flawless duality because of Classy Restoration. And nothing else, you know. Uh, hey, I'm probably one of those. You know, I'm going to try and get Titan run this season though because... You know, the helm's still going to be good. <laughs> I'm looking for that cheese. Uh, I'm, I'm only kidding. So don't take it so personally, Titans. It's only a joke. Uh, but I just feel like Ark hasn't landed like that, where it's like, oh my god. It's just like, oh cool, look. 
you know, Tickle Fingers has now got got their own patented grenade. <laughs> For a limited time only, Tickle Finger grenades. I just I just don't feel like it's it's as good as Sol Solar and Void. So that's that is one of the reasons. The other reason, because I really did I really did think about showing off uh, the subclass and you know doing all that. But I think there's a bug at the moment where <laughs> surprise, surprise, new season, new bug. Uh, where uh, Ark Warlocks and Ark Hunters? I, I'm not sure if it's Hunters or Titan, Titans, but I definitely know Warlocks are getting no damage resistance on Ark. You know, and so when you're coming at someone like the Glassway and you're you know, almost 10 power levels underneath, you don't you don't need that. So and as you can tell, I mean, we're 14 minutes in, we're at the boss on a master, 10 levels under. Boyd's still good. Lemon Arc is nasty. This commemoration machine gun hasn't really had a lot of use, neither as the sniper just yet. But they're, they're very good weapons. Machine guns, I feel, could be the play this season. Obviously, rocket launchers will have them in it. You know, Galahorns are going to be strong no matter what. Uh... But uh, yeah, I would I, I would be looking at I'd be looking at machine guns. So here we are at the boss. So the way the boss works, and I'm sure most of you will be aware, there are the the the, the way this what this com the composition of this is. You've got two hydras, a big one, the boss one, and a little one. His brother, I don't know. The transcendent. Uh, this little one comes in here. The boss doesn't. No. These are waves, right? So this is this is part one in the way that I my mind works. This is part one of wave one, right? So what I'm going to do, you'll see it come up. Vex reinforcements inbound, right? What I've decided to do is just get everything in here. So your first wave is overloads, right? So we've got overload champions and we've got the tra the, the the transcendent hydra. What I'm going to do, you'll see here, he's going to go in a minute. He's going to go, nah, sorry, mate, I'm off. There we go. Uh, the Transcendent Hydra takes to the void. If you can get rid of him, it's just you and, and these lovelies, right? You've got four Overlord Minotaurs, right? So what? this is what I wanted. I wanted this dude, right? I couldn't actually get to fire at him. This place here, it's, listen, it's not... This isn't your cover, you know. This is what I use for the overloads. Because your first wave, right, if we were doing this wave by wave, so wave one, part one, two overloads, transcendent hydra, some adds. Deal damage to the transcendent hydra, which is the little brother hydra, baby hydra, it was just in with us. And it will bring out part two of wave one, which is two more overloads and some adds. Once they are down, now we've got Big Daddy Overload, out, Big Daddy Hydra outside. Once Big Daddy, once you've dealt with all the overloads, uh, I mean, you don't, I'm going to be honest, you don't have to deal with all the overloads first, but because they're overloads and they're doing void damage, why wouldn't you? Once we take care of the overloads and we go after, uh, we go after Big Daddy Hydra, you can see there how much damage Limon Arc is doing. Once we take out the overloads, once we do a set amount of damage to Big Hydra, Big Hydra goes, that is the first complete wave done. So the wave, each wave is split into two parts. Each wave, not just this wave, all the waves are split into two parts. You've got you've got to do damage to one of the hydras to bring out the next part of the wave, right? So for this wave, as we've seen and as I've just explained, we've got overloads. Next time, it's going to be wyverns and barrier champions. Now, I've said that with a, a certain degree of ominous and barrier champions. The barrier champions are not the problem, right? Barrier champions aren't really a problem because the barriers, for, for the most part, stay outside. But the hydras are more dangerous, practically, than the boss. Because they do avoid, they teleport, they're red bulb with elite level damage. Crazy. But 
you can to a degree protect them and, and nullify them quickly, right? So, we took out all all four overloads. You pays to it does pay to keep an eye on what ones you've took, you know, because I've seen it before where it's been like, did I take four? Did I take three? Can't remember. Calm down. Oh, there's an overload waiting for me. So keep it just, you know, if you're going to do it wave by wave, take your two overloads down, then take the little Hydra. When you take the little Hydra, you do damage to it to bring the next wave out. It's worth your while getting rid of that Hydra. So you've got one less thing to worry about inside. Once you do that, you come over here. And what we're doing is we've got to take Belmont. What a name for a boss, Belmont? Sounds like a butler. Uh, you've got to take Belmont's first... He's got, you can see he's got three health bars. You've got to take his first health bar away, and then he'll go. He'll run away. Once he runs away, then we're going to get second wave. Right? And the second wave is the Minotaurs. So there you go. Belmont takes to the void. You can see me hightailing it all the way across here. The Transcendence back, and the wide ones. And the wide ones come from these teleporters. Once you start attacking one Wyvern, as long as you don't run away, the other Wyvern will come over to you. And you can just, from this distance, see me just moving in between his shots? Completely harmless from here. The machine gun does its job, right? So that's... That is... That's the first two Wyverns. Now you'll see here that the Lemonarch does good damage against the arc. Now, the barriers kind of stay outside. Right? As I said earlier on about this, about uh, uh, thank you for walking back into my grenade. I tried to actually hit them with my grenade. Uh, as I said earlier about this, if you don't hit crits, it's two shots with a sniper. Right? So, this I think this, this can happen. Where we are here, where we are over here, we obviously came over here to to get to get some damage on on the the wyvern. So the, the last thing you want is you do you do not want those wyverns free roaming. I'm just running about. I can see some heavy down there. I'm looking for the other barrier. So in this wave, so this is wave two, part one. You've got two wyverns, two barriers. When we do damage to Baby Hydra, we're going to get the second part of this wave, which is two Wyverns, two Hydras, right? And then we'll get rid of we'll get rid of uh, Baby Hydra, and then we're on to the next wave. So what I'm doing is I'm racing around the map trying to find this other barrier, and it turns out he was up here. I almost missed him again because he's just standing there. So what we're going to do is break his shield. I want him out of there as fast as possible. Because as you can see there, Baby Hydra has decided to to, uh, to get involved. So now I'm taking a chance. But I'm, the, thing about, the thing about the Transcendent Hydra, and you've just seen that there, he, he, he's not... It's not really that dangerous, if I'm being honest. Now, you can't stand in front of him going, yeah, I'm here, and expect to survive it. But as you can see, I mean, this is a 1600 activity. It's not like I'm walking through a patrol. But he's, it seems like his shots just don't have the gripping, really, to be of any real danger. Now, if he focuses you, you're in trouble, right? But his shots are so sporadic that it's kind of difficult for him to focus fire you. What I what I done there was, and you can do this, that's something you guys can do. You can get to this side and just kind of shoot to get him to come at you. What we want is we want to be, see me getting ready. I'll just put a couple of snipes on him. No. We want to be over here so that when, when, uh, there we go. Vex reinforcements come. We're already here. Now, you can see there. Now, what happened? I can't remember if it was this one or the next one. No, it must be the next one. The next one, I'm, 
So this is the last Y runs of this wave. There we go. As you can see, no, no real stress there. You know, in fact, where we are here, Bel the the transcendent Hydra will not come outside here. He won't come behind us. Right. So I'm just taking these harpies. It's just one less hassle, and as you can see, it's the the lemonok really does its does some work here. And now, what two barriers are here? If you can, and I do it sometimes. Oh, I've got a brick of heavy there. I'll just put my grenade down on top of him. Get ready to break his shield again. If you can tame your time your snipe at the exact moment he shields you can you can crit him like that you've got to fire just as he shields and and it's because the, the vex and we all know vex are the they're, they're the worst to try and consistently crit so that is that that is wave two part two finished Right, so now, before I do anything, I'm just going to have a look outside, see if there's anything lying about. Now, my, my Lemonok is going to do good damage to him. The next wave, that's the wave. You know, is the the wave ones are a nightmare, don't get me wrong. Uh, but the overloads, they're, they're very easily controlled, right? So you can see here, I'm just trying to get them to come to me because the reason why I say this is the wave is because, and you'll see this in a minute, half the time these overloads don't come to you. You've got to entice them. Now there's a bunch of ads, you'll see when I throw a grenade around this corner and it's just like Explorer City. I'm just going to float around, oh my god. All the fanatics, and I don't think my grenade took them all. Now they've changed the way that the void grenade works. Anybody that's been watching my stuff knows. I am, I am, uh, very fond. There we go. I'm going to see if I can entice them up here. Actually, it's a good thing to say. I actually found a strategy for these overloads whilst doing this because the overloads will hide up. To the, like behind us most of the time so we've got him out I threw a grenade to the left so if he does try and back out that doorway he's uh, he's walking right into the grenade it's more damage so I'll just throw the melee get the finisher if you're dealing with an, an ad boss champion or whatever that's mobile likes to run try and cut their if you're going to use a grenade, you're going to use that strategy. Try and cut off their, their escape route with your grenade. So if they do want to run, they've got to run through your grenade. Most of the time, with most ads, there's the other overload. Now, this is, I think this is because what happens with these is they come so far down, then they go, nope. He didn't, but normally they do. So I'm going to toss my grenade to the right because that's what it has escape route. You see, it just keeps him in the grenade. He's walked right through it. Uh, nice, nice, very nice. And I got some heavy. You want to keep up your heavy because that's going to be your, your, you know, you want to be very mindful of your heavy uh, reserves because that's that's going to be your main main way to take down your wyverns. So now what we're going to do? It's the same. Got to get be we've got to get Belmont to half health on his second health bar and then you will see Vex reinforcements and we will get another two uh, overloads. Now it's on the second two overloads that I worked out how I can make them really come after me. And there we go, Vex reinforcements. So I'm going to show my face in the middle and hopefully see if they come to me. They didn't. They were just in that much of a rush. Belmon must be, Belmon must be paying good money. That's all I can say, because they come out there like a bat out of hell, straight towards Belmont. They weren't even interested in me. So what I'm going to do, you can see it's uh, Ad City out there. 
So we'll take a bunch of them with a the grenade. They've changed the way that the, the, the Vortex grenade behaves. It doesn't matter about time on target anymore. It used to be time on target, stick it on a target, gets a little bit of the, you know, sit it on a heavy duty ad, and the longer it kind of burnt away at the ad, the more of the grenade you get back. Well, it doesn't work like that anymore. You get 50% of your grenade anyway, but the more targets you kill, the more grenade energy you get back. Plus, it's probably worth mentioning that uh, Controverse got a new ornament today. I think it's. I think it came out this season. I'm going to be honest. I have been enjoying other subclasses, so I haven't been checking. So here we go. So what I ended up doing was, I was trying to just show him, and then he just kept running away. I'm just looking to see. Did I get shot from behind there? So what I ended up doing was, I took a chance, see if there's anybody out here. Yep, it's that uh, uh, fanatic. And this is what I've done. I think it's here I do it. No, not yet. I'm trying to get him to come all the way around, but he won't. So what I do is I get up here, and this time, I stunned him. Now, the burn stunned the other one. Now, because I'd done that, now he's enraged. Now he wants to come after me. So if you struggle with an overload... Uh, running away, hiding or whatever. If you can stun him, once he gets up, if you're within his vicinity, oh, he'll come after you. Like a bat out of hell will come out. He'll, 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 he'll be enraged. Just go and grab this heavy while I've got the ads around the other side. So I, I'm almost full with heavy. I think this holds 275. So we'll just take out that enemy there. I'm just making sure because I've never seen the overload. There he is. So what I need to do is I just I'm just trying to move him. Let him see me. There he is. So as you can see there, same thing again. Getting a couple of crits. No, I can jump up because no, he's wanting something. Well, actually, he tried to run away. <laughs> and now we'll just. Melting with that. So that's the two overloads. We're still good on heavy. Uh, now we've got to get rid of Belmont for the the almost the one almost the last time. He'll be back next wave. So we'll get rid of Belmont here. And then we're back to Wyvern City. So as soon as Belmont is gone. Uh as soon as Belmont is gone, then we will... Get, you see, that's him gone. We're going to get the wide run. So, same thing again. We might... We might miss. No, nope, we didn't. Here he is. Now, I've kept my Nova. Because sometimes... Second Hydra... You can't take him there. So, you run. Second wide run. He'll come from the middle. And as you'll see it pop up here, why run, why run down? But it also done a ton of damage, hopefully, to to uh, Baby Hydra. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of Baby Hydra. Now, remember I said, don't worry about this Hydra, he's not got great. No. If you're standing face to face with him, don't you worry, you'll do damage. <laughs> so when the Hydras are here, that ledge that we were up on top of before. Now, now this is what I was worried about because now I'm going to have to deal with with these guys like this. Now, I haven't spoke about this yet, but one of the great things about the Void Grenade, and it is a great thing about the Void Grenade, is it stuns it's almost it almost suppresses any of the any ad that hits. So now we've got one hydra left, uh, one wide run left. I do not know where the wide run is. I couldn't get in here to start with. So I'm going up in here. Now this is a great place. I've actually soloed masters doing this. You can you can actually do the GM from in here as well if you protect yourself well enough. 
and it's, it's movement in here can be slightly difficult because it's, you can't just wander about in here. You've got to move within the channels. And there we go. That's both wyverns down. That's that's all the wyverns down. Now we've got four barriers. Now this is what I'm going to speak suggest. Now we had a barrier up here. Normally I never have a barrier up here, but we're going to kill them anyway. I'll just try and get my grenade on top of them. See, no, I'm used to throwing the grenades. But we're going to land. We land those. Uh, what I normally do is where I am now, right? You don't want you want to be this side of that opening because Belmond will go through the wall to our left. Now, I don't get to actually finish DPS in him because what I actually wanted was was the barriers. Now, if, if you are in the right place, so basically where I was standing, uh, the, eventually the barriers will go up here. And it's a very easy... They'll do it on Grandmaster as well. It's a very easy clear if they're up here. Because you can basically... See how I'm trying to stand in such a way where the sniper is, is blocked by the wall? So... I actually wasted a bit of damage here because I'm pretty sure I start going after him and the other barrier teleports up to where that first one was. Yep, there, there he is. So I just completely didn't bother with with the barrier that's on ground level and decide to go after him. It works like this on GM. If you're this side of that open and Belmont will stay through the wall to the left. And these barriers will find a location where they can come after you. But uh, Vex, have, Vex have kind of got a hive mind. So when one sees you, they all see you. And now the other barrier is now, I think, he's went up top. So I'm just moving around. I'm going to get Belmond over here. I don't know where the D's come it's Belmon. Right, so I'll just grab a... I've got a bunch of special. Uh, we're wanting this barrier over here. There we go. So Because I think there might have been a little, a few corpses up there, he, his movement was slightly more erratic. So now, because literally he's the last barrier, you get two barriers per wave. So when you've got the overloads... You've got barriers, right? Uh, sorry, when you've got wide runs, you've got barriers. So if you do what I done, the barriers aren't really a big issue. They, they really aren't. So you can take the wide runs and then afterwards take the barriers. You know, and and, and a kind of thing you can do is you can just damage as long as you make sure you do a bit of damage to each barrier. Each barrier champion, when you kill the boss, it will kill the barriers and it should give you. Uh, still give you platinum. You see now when I fired my Nova, I just step back a bit because if you're too close to here, you will kill yourself with the Nova, and we don't want that. And there you go, guys. I I think you'll agree. A very straightforward, pretty easy master uh, week one master completion. Thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate the support. As I say, if you'd like to watch me do this stuff live on stream, you can head over to the stream channel. It's in the recommended. Uh, channels at the bottom of the main page of this channel. It's live on Destiny. Take it easy, guys. Until the next time, I'll see you then.